Mike Haber. Thanks for asking me, can I get a license if I'm an HTO in Florida? If you're designated as a habitual traffic offender or an HTO by Florida DMV, then two things happen to you simultaneously. One, your driving privilege is administratively suspended for a period of five years. And two, each and every time that you get behind the wheel of your motor vehicle during the course of this suspension, you risk arrest and prosecution for driving on an HTO suspension, which is a third degree felony punishable by five years in state prison, five years of probation, a $5,000 fine, and a permanent felony conviction. That said, there's only three ways to get a license after DMV has designated you as an HTO in Florida. One, assuming that you have no other or unrelated holds or suspensions on your driving privilege, then after you serve one full year of your five-year HTO suspension, you're eligible to apply for a hardship or a business purposes or BPO license. Two, within 30 days of receiving the notice of HTO revocation from Florida DMV, you're entitled to file for an administrative hearing at DMV to challenge this driving record and to demonstrate that you have a legal basis as to why the revocation is not valid. Finally, you can hire a lawyer to challenge one or more of your underlying or qualifying cases, either seeking to get a conviction or two set aside or a DWLS or two broken down to a lesser charge, such as no valid DL, which is an offense which would not count towards HTO status. If this happens and you're able to remove a conviction from your record, you might be able to remove your HTO status from your present situation. That said, I thank you very much for your question. I appreciate your having asked it and I invite you to ask me more. Please remember that at Haber PA, it's all about reasonable doubt. And if you like this video, then please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll be putting out more soon.